All right, are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Palm Sunday worship service. And would you please help me open our service with our call to worship. As Jesus entered Jerusalem for the last time, people spread their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from trees and waved them as Jesus passed by. When he came near the city gates, the whole crowd began to joyfully praise God. Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna! Overwhelmed with joy, the crowds that went ahead of him shouted louder and louder, Hosanna to the Son of God! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. And now if you would please help me sing our opening hymn, We Will Glorify. Will you pray with me, please? Holy and almighty God, once more we praise your name and thank you for drawing us together all around where we are in our homes and within our hearts. We ask that you send your Holy Spirit upon each and every one of us today, drawing us together as one in worship. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Amen. Our first reading this morning comes from the book of Psalms. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good, whose love endures forever. Open the gates of the righteous, for I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God and has made a light shine upon us. With bows in hand, join in the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will praise you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for the Lord is good, whose love endures forever. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God.
hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O God. Jesus went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached the Mount of Olives, he called two of his disciples over, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Say, the Lord needs it. Those who were, those who were sent ahead went and found it just as, had, just as Jesus had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying our colt? And they replied, the Lord needs it. And so they brought it to Jesus threw their cloaks on the colt and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. And when he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest. Now some of the Pharisees who were in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he replied, I tell you, if they were to keep quiet, then the very stones would cry out. This is the gospel of hope. Praise to you, Creator Christ Christ and Holy Spirit. Well, as you probably know, today is Palm Sunday. And it is an odd day to not be together to celebrate. For the whole day is focused upon Jesus entering Jerusalem, greeted by a large crowd of people, all shouting and waving palms and welcoming him as their Savior. But we are living in an altered time. And one of the things that we are learning during this time is that church has never been about four walls. It has always been about the people who inhabit it. And while I certainly long for the day when we can be together again, I want to remind us that nothing can separate us from the love of God or from one another. Even on a day like Palm Sunday. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the the people shouted, Hosanna! Which is a phrase used to express adoration and praise and joy. And the actual word Hosanna means, save us. Save us this one who comes in the name of the Lord. Give praise to the highest heaven. Save us, O Lord. Well, we can still say this, together or apart. We can still praise God, look to God for our salvation, and see the very source of our salvation riding into Jerusalem on a donkey today. For you see, what the people were experiencing was, what the people were being filled with was the presence of Christ in their lives. The very embodiment of God's love was riding into town and the people were overcome with joy. Well, that love is still riding into our lives. Every day, we have an opportunity to meet Christ in our lives. To pray to God to save us. To see Jesus working in our lives. 
you know, Palm Sunday is not just about waving palms and remembering a, a parade that happened 2,000 years ago. It is about giving thanks to the Lord our God and welcoming the one who comes in the name of the Lord. You see, to welcome God in our lives, to see Jesus as the source of our salvation, is to cry out Hosanna no matter where we are. In fact, even if we were not to cry out, the stones would. I've always liked that part of the story where when the temple leaders tell Jesus to quiet his followers down, that they're making too much noise, and Jesus tells them, look, even if they were not to cry out to the Lord, the very stones would. For all of creation praises God. And when we are silenced, the world itself cries out. Perhaps, perhaps that is what is happening right now. Perhaps the world itself is crying out to God to save it, to save it from our destruction, to save it from our disregard for the welfare of our planet. And into the midst of this, we are now crying out. Hosanna, God, save us. Fill us with your Spirit. Fill us with your Son. Save us from our own destruction. Palm Sunday is the precursor to Easter Sunday when the whole story of salvation is fulfilled in the resurrection. But before we get to Easter, we have to walk through Palm Sunday, proclaiming the greatness of God, proclaiming our trust and belief in Jesus Christ, proclaiming our adoration for all of God's creation. And then after all of these proclamations, after our profession of our faith, we will walk with Jesus during his passion, his time of saying goodbye to all that he loved in this world, to his time of great physical pain and death, until we meet again next Sunday to celebrate his resurrection. Palm Sunday prepares us for Easter. For without today, without our desire to be filled with the presence of Christ in our lives, without our shouts of joy for all that God has done for us and is doing for us, then we would not be able to walk the path of Holy Week and have our own lives transformed once more on Resurrection Sunday. Every week when we come to the altar of Christ, we remember these things and we ask that Christ remain within us today, tomorrow, and forever. We actually don't need to walk on the road that leads to Jerusalem. In fact, most of us never have. Our walk is the walk of faith, knowing that we are bound together in God's love through Christ, in Christ, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit. So let us continue our praise of the one who comes in the name of the Lord and listen closely for even the earth is now praising with us. Amen. Amen. Will you pray with me please? Holy God, 
we pray this day for our world, a world that we have neglected and wounded. Heal the earth and restore our home to us. God, we pray today for those who are infected and affected by COVID-19. Bless our families, our loved ones, our communities as we carry the burden of caring for one another, even as we have to learn new ways to care for ourselves. Heal our bodies and give us strength. God, bless those who are working to keep us healthy and secure. You know the hearts of the ones working to care for your people today. Give them your strength to carry on. And bless us all, dear Lord. Fill our souls with Christ that we are not left empty in this time of trial. Fill us that we may walk the trials of Jesus and know the real meaning of resurrection in our lives. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 And now let us all take a moment of silence and ask God to be with us today. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Mike. And now, if you would, join me, please, in our prayer of confession and assurance of illumination. On this Sunday, O God, we remember the ways we have not glorified you, the ways we have caused harm intentionally or not. We come to you proclaiming our need for your grace and your mercy in our lives. Restore us, O God, and renew us for the journey of faith so that we might become the ones who know new life in your care. Tell everyone who will listen, Christ has come to heal, to comfort, and to bring joy. Hosanna, we give our thanks to God, the source of hope, grace, and life. Hosanna in the highest, and blessed are we who come in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And blessed be the Lord of all creation. And all creation blesses God. God is with you. And also with you. So open your hearts. We, we open, open them up to God. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we remember Christ's death and resurrection. Therefore, let us proclaim once more what is the mysterious and miraculous truth of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ is here, and Christ shall come again. And now let us all say together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In memory of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer to you, O God, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. And we ask that you turn these simple elements of your creation into our spiritual nourishment once more so that we may be filled with even just a sense of your grace and love and mercy that will bind us together forevermore. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. On the night you were betrayed, you took the bread. After giving thanks, you broke it and said, This is my body broken for you. And as you eat it, remember me. This is my body, broken for you. And as you eat it, remember me. On the night you were betrayed, you held the cup. After giving thanks, you lifted it up. This is my blood poured out for you. And as you drink it, remember me. This is my blood poured out for you. 
And as you drink it, remember me. My friends, once again, as we all gather around our respective communion tables this morning, we ask that God be with each and every one of us and that through Christ and God's Holy Spirit we are bound together through space and time through the celebration of this meal. Let us all sing together our song that we know so well as we approach this table. Come just as you are Hear the Spirit call Come just as you are Come and see Come receive Come and live My friends, as you gather around your respective tables and receive communion by yourself or with one another, let us pray together.
It does not take very many. It may only be just two or three. But I know that same sweet spirit that we felt a time and I can say without a doubt that we met with the Lord for surely the presence of our God in this place. <coughs> God might Pray with me, please. <clears throat> Holy God, we thank you for bringing us ad- together again this day. We thank you for all that you have done for us. We thank you for allowing us to join together through this holy meal. And we praise your name forevermore. Amen. Amen. And now, my friends, if you would help me sing our closing song. <clears throat> Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, the 
Bible tells me so. My friends, as you enter into this day, as you go into another week, may you go with the strength of Christ before you, the love of Christ within you, and the peace of Christ upon you. Amen. Amen. Amen.